This time on Low Boost, we do some stuff to stiffen up our C5 Corvette with an Elite Engineering Tunnel Brace. So my last track day, the car was great, but I did notice a lot of body roll, and the car is not as stiff as people say it is, especially because this is a coupe and not a Z06. The hard top was definitely stiffer. I especially noticed when I'm going into my driveway, I can hear a creak coming from the roof because the car is actually flexing because you're going into something sideways. Uh, but there are a couple things we can do to fix it, and one of them we're gonna do today is an Elite Engineering Tunnel Plate. This is the 3 8 thick one. It's made of billet aluminum. It is significantly heavier than the panel that I'm gonna be pulling out, but it is really, really stiff. It will also help battle heat as well, but uh, we're gonna throw this thing on. Shouldn't take too long, and I'll show you guys how to do it. This plate sits underneath the car and really ties the left and right side of the car together really well. This will increase the stiffness of the car. A lot of guys that have Z06s don't always do this, but if you have a coupe or a convertible, this will stiffen the car up significantly. It's actually the same kind of plate they use on a C5R. All right, so with the car up on quick jacks, there's no way to do this without removing the exhaust. So just hitting some of this old shit with PB Blaster to see if it comes off easy. The tunnel plate actually is right above the exhaust, so that's gotta go down. Heck. Those clips up there, these little two sensors are seized on. I can't get them off, so I'm gonna have to try to just do it with the dropped. I'm just gonna undo these, and I broke off a bolt there. I'll have to do something to uh, get that out. All right, so with everything dropped, the O2 sensors, I just undid the clips and kept them in because they were not coming out. But there's your old tunnel plate. I mean, it's, it's flimsy. It's real flimsy, so now we're just gonna take all 35 of those suckers out and uh, we'll put the new one on. All right, so these are all eight millimeter bolts and there's a lot of them, so you don't want to lose them. Just drop them in a little metal pan that I have here. They come out pretty easily. We all about that thickness. Um, this might look like it's thick, but as you can see, it's it's not. It just got the rolled edges to it. This is solid 3 8 billet aluminum. So this thing is a lot thicker. Okay, so the thick boy is on, but contrary to what a lot of people do, just throw them on with an impact. Um, I actually threaded them all on by hand because at some point, I will have to take this off. I have to replace the clutch and the torque tube. And uh, I don't wanna have to worry about cross-threaded bolts or have to worry about all that crap. So yeah, I did it by hand and then I'll tighten it down. I think it says eight foot pounds. So that's a little bit more than hand tight. Um, I'll tighten them all down. I'll use a, the electric ratchet to tighten it down and then you know we'll take it from there. But I don't wanna strip any of these things. They're not really designed to be, you know, thrown on really hard with an impact gun, but the, the piece looked great. I mean, no one ever sees it, but hopefully we're gonna feel it. All right, so PB blasted. Uh, everything's back on, all hooked up. So only one way to test this thing out is really see in the deep turns and stuff and coming in the driveways if it actually stiffens it up. But I think it, I think it will. So driving around on the street, we'll find out how it does on the track. Um, it definitely, it still creaks when I'm go going in and out of stuff, uh, just a little bit in the roof. It does feel stiffer, it doesn't creak as much, and everything just kind of feels more firm in the car. And then driving around turns, uh, trying to get a uh, replicated idea of what a, what a good turn is, um, it feels better. It feels better. So. I definitely think this is an improvement. We'll find out at the track exactly how much of an improvement this is. Um, I'm doing Lime Rock next with this, so it should show up. I don't know if I'm gonna get the sway bars on in time to check that out, but the sway bars definitely are gonna help. I'm waiting for them to come in, uh, and then I might get a chance to install before then. And my next event is gonna be in July. I'm sponsoring it with Highline Motorsports. <laughs> Thank you.
So Low Boost Films is gonna sponsor that event for Highline Motorsports. So make sure you guys sign up for that if you're in the Northeast. I'll put a link in the description below to the Elite Engineering Tunnel Plate that I put on the C5 for you guys to check out as well. So all in all, wasn't that hard to install. We got rid of this flimsy, wobbly thing here. As you can see that, all that wobble there, that is not gonna happen with that tunnel plate. So if you guys like videos like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I upload a video every week about cars, whether it's my C5 Corvette that I'm turning into a track car, my M235 BMW, my BMW E36 Turbo LS swap. I also got a Ford F100 from 1953 that I'm restoring with my father and a 1970 Camaro Supersport that we're doing an LS swap resto mod on. So if you like any of those things, give it a subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.